And Robert Lowry caught up with students dreading the return of winter and soaking in the warmth while it lasts. He continues our team coverage. Well, as Tara mentioned, as come tomorrow, things will look very much different out here as that rain and snow starts to hit. And some of the people I talked with to today said they just aren't ready for all that warm weather to go away so soon. It's the type of day that has you thinking more about the beach than you do of winter. It was a nice day. We decided to have practice out here instead of in the gym. <clears throat> Just because it was a nice day. Take advantage of the weather. After months of being stuck indoors, protected from the cold weather, students at University of Dayton are trying to capture some of that warmth. They know it's not sticking around for long. Oh, everyone's just kind of more out and about on campus, so it's it's nice to be like out with everyone rather than just like everyone sitting there living rooms when it's cold out. We're just uh, hanging out. Normally we'd be doing homework, but uh, <laughs> sun's out, uh, boys are out, uh, hanging out at beat ups, having a few drinks. The area surrounding campus had people celebrating the break in winter, whether it was having dinner with a few friends or playing a few games out on the sidewalk. I was trying to go for a run, yeah. but. That didn't happen. If anything, it's at least been a sign that winter won't be sticking around for long. Unfortunately, there's at least one more snowfall between now and spring, and it may be somewhat difficult to go back to freezing temperatures after a day like this. I'm really ready for it to be spring, summer, but I'm tired of the winter. Oh, I'm so ready for spring. Dirt here is hoping for a snow day, but uh, you know, it's nice out. Can't complain. It's one of the things we'll be watching for you throughout the tomorrow is that mix of rain and snow turning into some icy patches as the day goes on. As the temperatures start to dip a little bit more, you can keep track of all of that on our website at WDTN.com. We'll be following all those conditions for you. Reporting live, Robert Lowry, 2 News, working for you.